Yo, what up everybody, Cardboard Molds, is what you welcome, time to do 2018-19 NBA Hoops Basketball Half Case Number 2, right now, hope you got your popcorn ready, cause we gonna be here for a little while, alright, alright, put this up on the screen, Boom. There it is. And let me get the boxes. I got them right here. Because I knew we were going to fill this. So let's get it popping. Let's do the damn thing, baby. And as always, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. All right, let's keep it rolling. Share that there, and let's share this as well. Boom, boom, boom. Got to get the social media popping. Uh, yeah, Marcus, this is box numero uno. Let's see, this takes me like an hour and a half on average to do this. Let me see. Yeah, about an hour and a half. So I'll be done with this. Close to like two in the morning. Marcus, you are so right, dude. Nobody ever asked me how my day is. No, I lied. Some people do. Uh, but dude, it was. It started off uh, weird, man. I was gonna. I was gonna go live originally at eleven o'clock, and Jason thought that that was too early, so I said, "All right, two o'clock." He's like, "Cool, okay, cool." So you know, so I started doing things around the house. And as I'm getting ready to leave, I go outside, and lo and behold, one of my tires is flat. So I'm like, okay, whatever, no big deal. I go to, uh, to, to put the spare on, and the spare is flat too. So I was not about to risk, you know, getting my car more messed up driving to a tire shop on three wheels. So I called the tow truck. Luckily, my insurance looked out a little bit there for me. So I called the uh, tow truck and that took forever. So by the time I got the tow truck, took it to a tire shop. By the time I could actually get my tires, uh, my well, my one tire installed, and I told them to patch the the spare tire. By the time all that was done, it was like 4:30 or something like that. So you know, the day started off a little crappy, but you know whatever. Shit happens. You gotta pick yourself up by your bootstraps and keep on trucking, right? Or something like that. I don't know. So 
So that's that's how my day uh, started off. Actually, I, I haven't had uh, time to get to eat just yet. I need to uh, do that at some point. No, my day's been uh, other than that, dude. My day's been great. Uh, the only issue now is I'm I'm worried about the other three tires, so I'm probably gonna have to buy three more tires. Not really looking forward to that, but but whatever. I mean, I can't complain, man. It could have been worse. You know what I mean? That that tire could have popped on me while I was on the way to work or something, and that really would not have been cool. Probably, probably could have gone to a car accident or something. So. Well, yeah, you know, it, it wasn't exactly the, the best start to my day. You know, it, it's it's been going well, man. I can't complain. I cannot complain. You know, there, there's a lot of people out there going through way worse crap on a daily basis. So, I really can't complain. Uh, but what about you, man? How's your day been going? Uh, how's your day been going? I want to check something here real quick. Because there is no way. That number's correct. There just is no way. And that's what I thought. And this was today's the twenty fourth, okay. Hmm. All right. We got that figured out. Okay, whatever. Let's keep it moving. Sorry, guys. I had to I had to check something real quick. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. What's up, Kaylee? How are you? You gotta be positive, man. You gotta be positive in life. You know, it helps. It helps manifest it into reality. You know. You know what? You know how they say, "Fake it till you make it." Well, sometimes you gotta fake being happy too. <laughs> Exactly, exactly like how Marcello says, man. You know, there's ups and downs in life. Got to take the good with the bad. But, you know, for sure. Dude, I, I'm i good, man. LeBron James to 2018 Cavs. Does she really? What up, Kaylee? Yeah, put a, put a little bit more energy into that one. Spurs Grizzlies right there. I'm a little upset, though, that Kaylee has yet to hook me up with her, uh, with a sister of hers, or even a cousin. I mean, come on. We'll keep it in the family. Kevin Walker, 199 Hornets. Oh, I got an autograph coming up there. For the Warriors, Jonas Jerebko. He's going to be a key part to that Warriors team this year. I really like Jerebko. He has a nice game to him. Warriors getting a hit. A Don Kichado would be stupid noise. Purple parallels here. The Catman for the Timberwolves. Oh well, that, I'm down with the friends. I'm down with the friends. You know, or, or, or do, do they like the the uh, the uh, tall, dark, handsome, and uh, with the with the extra cushion for the pushing? You know what I'm saying? I got I got the dad bod on lock. I hear dad bods are in, especially in the winter time. You know. I'll keep, I'll keep your friends warm, you know. Capella of the Rockets to 
need to see a, I want to see a one on one autograph. LeBron James, 499 Cavs. This fool never takes me back. Alright, I guess we're waiting on it. Charles, I'm sorry, Clyde Drexler Rockets. Oh, that's oh what Marcus? All day I'll treat him right, girl. You can have up to five items on that dollar menu all day, every day. Harrison Barnes, the '99 Mavericks. What? Don't get no better than that. You dude, you get you a solid meal. For five dollars on that McDonald's dollar menu. Like, listen, no, no joke. I like uh, for more often than not on a if I'm on a, if I'm going like on a first date with a chick or whatever, I like to take her to places. I like to take them to places like that. Well, I'll take you to the McDonald's if you give me that stank face. Then I already know what you about. But if you cool and you roll with the punches, then baby, you deserve the world. I'll take it to Olive Garden next time. Josh Okogi, the rookie autograph for the Timberwolves. Ahoo! Yeah, dude, checklist for this stuff is very nice. You know, five dollars, you know, five thirty-five because the tax and whatnot. You know, but for under six bucks, you, you eat like a king or queen at McDonald's. Anything more than that is uh, gluttony. Nah, let's let's get it done, man. Let's get it done. The Lakers beating the Suns tonight. Whoa, hold up. I don't know about those new new jerseys there. I didn't see those purple jerseys before. I like their home jerseys. But I don't know about those purple joints with the black, you know, right down the middle of the sides there. I don't know about that. They're kind of low-key ugly. Jazz spanking the Rockets. How'd the Hawks do tonight? you go really they came back from 26 to beat the Mavericks damn I'm sure I'll hear uh, something about or see something on it in, in Sports Center here I got Sports Center playing in the background so I shall see. Uh, I'm pretty sure his name is Jerrion Grant. But Jeremy Grant, 
to 189 Thunder. I, I thought his name was Jerrion Grant anyway. All right. Let's keep it going. Man, we got to see some big time autos here coming up soon. I feel it. I feel it. We have Dante DiVincenzo at 99 bucks. The round mound, the rebound, Charles Barkley, Sixers. He got autographs in this stuff. Let's get it done, Marcello. Marcus Aldridge, 2018 Spurs. Got a random nose. Tip off. I did, I did. Let's see if we can duplicate that cello. <laughs> Dion Waiters, you gonna play ever again for us, dog? That boy stay injured. Trey Young been balling lately. Rookie of the year. Well, we got a Laker hit there. I already know who it is. AC Green. The Lakers autograph. Zanon Musa, 10 of 25, the Nets rookie autograph. Very nice. I would watch that movie, Marcus. I enjoyed the 40 year old version. One of my favorite comedies, actually. Russell Westbrook, 2018 Thunder. I don't know, Marcello. Anyone here in the room know what a rookie remembrance winter card is? My man Marcello in the chat would like to know. Kevin Durant, 199 Thunder. Omari Spellman of the Hawks to 189. That's two boxes to help. Sam Hauser, 
Same here, Cello. Same here. Let's see if we can change that. Ah! Excuse me. Let's see, hoops and archives are still at 14. Hoops 3 at 14. Archives 2 at 14. Uh, no, Marcus. Veteran base does not ship, brother. Damn. In the World Series... The home team to win the first two World Series games wins the series 82% of the time. 31 and 7. So you're saying there's a chance? Wow, Red Sox are 14 and 2 in their last 16 World Series games. But the Dodgers lose their first back to back in this postseason. That bodes well for them. And I think, aren't, aren't they going back to LA now? So what is it? 2-2 two, two, and then what after that? 1-1-1? One, one, one? Oh man, I am hungry. From where, Marcus? Can't order no delivery at this hour. And if I am, you're gonna charge me an arm and a leg, dog. And by the time I'm done with this break, it's probably gonna be like close to two in the morning. So hopefully we can get uh, get another break filled here. While I'm working on this, so I can just keep on rolling through them. And I th actually, I, I brought some food, actually. Just got to take time to sit down and eat. Kuzma to 189 Lakers. I think Domino's is closed right now. But I'm trying to eat healthy, dog. I actually have some uh, some grilled chicken. Broccoli and cauliflower. Call him a name. Dante DiVincenzo or the Bucks. Call him a name right there. Oh, you already know, Marcus. Jason Tatum, 999 Celtics. Luke Williams, 
Bones Clippers insert. Where's the other autograph? We got Chris Paul, 99 Rockets. All right, auto got to be here. Got to. I think that's it right there. Karis Levert, the hot signature for the Nets. Let me get up and stretch, man. My back hurts. Got all these cards upside down. Got uh, Maurice Harkless to 189 Blazers with the good old Panini fold right there down the center. This, this looks. Ben Simmons to 2018 Sixers. Mm. LeBron to 2018 right there. Alrighty. Keep it going. This is box four. Uno momento. Grab some water real quick. Stretch out. Dude, my back hurts, man. I'm getting old for real. Oh, God. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what did I do now, Marcus? Oh. 
Oh man, my back. Oh. But you're right, Marcus. You're right. You're right. Ah. Uh, all right. Thank you for the uh, <laughs> for something. You know, give me something to look forward to in the next ten years. What are friends for? I mean, hey, listen, you gotta give it to me straight. God, these packs are... Opening up so ugly! finger emoji <laughs> tell me how to live my life Treats do you have? Ooh, there's something there for the Lakers. A Kobe auto would be insane. Oh, even better. It's Moritz Wagner. That's the case hit right there for the Lake. No, it's not. Get Jason a bag of Cheetos. I got you, dog. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. But it's freaking hilarious. But yeah, I got you. Know, I'll, I'll put a nice bag of uh, of the, the Cheetos. With, is the flaming Hot Cheetos or just straight up regular Cheetos? 
Victor Oladipo, 6 of 10 for the Pacers. Oh, Marcus, it was hilarious. Just good old regular Cheetos. Why Cheetos, if you don't mind me asking? Is that Jason's, like, favorite potato chip or something? That's that ish. Ish Smith of the Pistons. Yeah, see, me and Kaylee, we... Kaylee! Hook me up with your friends already, man. And then you unlock that family discount. You feel me? James Harden, 2018 Rockets. Got Chandler Hutchinson purple there for the Bulls. Got you, Marcus. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. It shall be done. It shall be done. He will be live on Friday. He'll be live on Friday. And Saturday. And I'm going to be home playing Red Dead Redemption the entire time. All right, we got to random that. I'm going to Georgia in a couple weeks. Hell yeah, man. I'm excited. I get to see some family, dude. Haven't seen them in like a year, man. I miss them. Anybody in here from, you know, that currently residing in Georgia? Ben Simmons of the Sixers to 2018. If so, I will be in Dallas, Georgia. No idea where that is, but that's where I'll be. If you want to uh, maybe hit me up on Facebook or something. You know, go have a drink or something. Austin Rivers, 189 Wizards. Tatum to 999 Celtics. What up, Big Greg? How you doing? Make sure that these are veterans. Indeed, they are. Actually, no, that doesn't matter. So, hmm, interesting. Anyways, keep the ball rolling, 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 rolling. Onto box five here. How was work, Big Greg? Any stories you'd like to share with the, with the homie? Gorgeous, Big Greg. There is a metric fuck ton. I measured it, by the way. That's what it says on the scale. Metric fuck ton. Of base cards. But the autographs have been very nice. I 
I don't like those Lakers purple road jerseys. Those things are ugly. I like their yellow jerseys. Those things are slick. Yeah, it's it's like the it's like the Donruss of bat. I mean, although there's a Donruss basketball actually. Big Greg, you got a Halloween party at work or like at your house or something? Yeah, Halloween is uh, is on a Wednesday. Chicka chicka yeah yeah wah wah. Need to see a big time hit. Come on, baby. Where's the one on one autos at? Where's the Kobe autos at? Al Horford of the Celtics 2018. Alrighty. Dang, that's two. Oh, it's a 10. Royce O'Neal, 5 of 10 for the Jazz. I like that little gold plate they got there on the side. Very nice. So, Big Greg, are you allowed to dress up for Halloween? If so, what are you going as? Yeah, those purple Laker jerseys are ugly. And the only reason why I say they're ugly is because of that black stripe they got down the sides of the jerseys. Those things are ugly. They should have just kept it with the simple yellow design they have. And kept that going. Uh, Elio Kobo to net 189 Suns. What is this? This is Ernie De Gregorio of the Buffalo Braves. If I'm not mistaken, the Buffalo Braves are the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm pretty sure that's uh, how that goes. I'll look it up on the checklist later. For now, let's keep it going. Exactly, Marcus, exactly. Bar security not allowed to dress up. Boo. Not even a mask or nothing? Damn. My man LeBron had a near triple-double. 19.7 rebounds, 10 assists. 
Well, see, that 10 assists is huge. That means his uh, teammates actually made jumpers <laughs> or made shots, if I guess. Wonder how long that's gonna uh, sustain. They got no shooters out there, man. For the Warriors, Jacob Evans the third, the rookie autograph. Nobody can wear a mask. Well, that's understandable. Did I guys? Did, did I ever tell you guys uh, the Halloween story that I got, where I could have been stabbed to death? I've told it a few times. I'm sure you guys have heard it already. Backstage pants. Marcus, you didn't hear my uh, my Halloween story? What about you, Big? I'm Big Rig. I'm pretty sure you've heard it. My uh, my Halloween story. LeBron James, the 999 Cavaliers. Kaylee wants to hear it too. Oh boy. All right, let me wrap up this because Jonah B, 2018 Sixers. I'll tell the story while I open up the packs. Helps the time go by. A purple D'Angelo Russell for the Nets. Yeah, I thought I thought Big Greg would have heard it by now. It's a great story. Nice, uh, valuable lesson at the end and everything. All right, so this happened, I want to say, almost close to five years ago. This was like five, six years ago this happened. And uh, so it's, you know, me and my group of friends, we went to, uh, we went to this place called Coconut Grove. And those that know Coconut Grove here in South Florida, you know what's up. It's basically a place where you go to get wasted. There are bars. It's like a little mini Mardi Gras, if you will. You know, people are outside. Everybody's drinking. You know, walking the streets, having a good time, right? So for Halloween, it gets, you know, it, it goes up a couple notches. Everybody's in costume. It's it's very surreal. You know what I mean? Think, think the purge, except nobody's getting murdered. At least, at least not yet anyway. Everybody's just out in costume, getting drunk, having a good time, right? So, you know, it's me and my friends, and we're like in a group of ten. And we like to bar hop. And not for nothing, you know, me and my group of friends, we are well known in certain areas. So we, you know, we have friends, or used to, because Coconut Grove no longer exists. We had friends at pretty much every bar. We knew uh, like almost all the bartenders. So any place we went to, like we didn't have to wait in line. We just get in, get our drinks in and out, boom, you right? So we're getting drunk. And I, I, I got to stress this because we're, we are beyond lit, right? We're drunk as hell. So we go to this place called Moe's. And at Moe's, there's like, it's it's a bar, of course, but on the outside, there are tables. And then, so I'll put it to you like this. Like, let's say, let's say this stack right here is Moe's. You got your sidewalk here. You got the tables on the side there. And then you got the street where, like, cars are going by, right? But, but since it's Halloween, all the roads are closed off and you can't drive past there, only the police. So anyways, we got a few tables. Because we're cool like that, right? You know, boom, we're all having a good time. We're all getting drunk. Boom, we got drinks. You know, uh, our server, we know her from, like, high school. So, you know, we're catching up. And she's, you know, she's getting us even drunker. So, at some point in the night, I, uh, I decide, all right, well, I'm going to go get some more drinks. Because the waitress was busy. You know, she, she hadn't come by in a while. So I decide, all right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go inside the bar and I'm going to get, you know, drinks for everybody. So I'm standing in line waiting to go inside. Mind you, I'm like at the front. I'm about to go inside. And there's like a, li there's like a line behind me. 
and some dude approaches me and he's like, yo, can you get me a drink? And dude, I am hammered. I am, bro, I can't stress this enough. I am gone. I The only reason why I can remember this is because the story has been told to me many times by uh, one of my sober friends. And he saw this happen. I just happened to be there drunk as shit. So anyway... I'm in line, and homeboy's like, yo, can you get me a drink? I'm like, yeah, dog, no problem, you know? Like, he, he he hands me some money or something. I'm like, bro, don't even worry about it. Because, again, I know the waitress. She's going to hook me up. Like, I don't have to. I don't got to pay for my drink, basically. So I'll, I'll go through that stack here. I'm almost done with the story. So anyway, uh, he's like, oh, dude, thank you. You know, whatever, whatever. And I'm looking at homeboy. Mind you, I got a costume on. Me and one of my best friends... We're dressed up as Cheech and Chong. And this dude, mind you, it's Halloween. I want to stress this. It's Halloween. Everybody got a costume on, except for Homeboy. Homeboy got on, like, this plain white T-shirt, and there's, like, blood or, like, red markings, like, all over his shirt. So me, being drunk as hell, I don't think anything of it. I'm like, dude, it's Halloween. He couldn't afford to put together a, a costume, so he just, like, put ketchup all over his shirt oh i'm a murdering dude oh whatever right so you you, you get where I'm, you see where i'm going greg so anyway dude has like blood or like red markings all over his shirt so again i don't think anything of it i'm like yeah whatever dude i'll get you a drink so as i'm walking out of the bar mind you i got like a tray full of fucking alcohol so i'm like uh, i am all my p's and q's trying not to drop this stuff as soon, bro, I swear, this was like a scene out of a movie, bro. As soon as I step out of the bar, all I hear is, fuck the police, boo, fuck you pigs, blah, blah, blah. The Bro, the, I don't know how many squad cars must have came by. Bro, I, I, dude, the, the street was full of cop cars, right? And the police had grabbed dude that I bought the drink for. They grabbed him. They freaking body slammed them on the concrete floor, and then they body slammed them on, like, the hood of a cop car. So that's why everybody's all, boo, fuck the police, blah, 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 right? So they arrest homeboy. So I got an extra drink. I'm like, well, shit, shout out to homeboy. Cool. And then, you know, the night goes on. This, this ended up being a very epic night. One of my friends ended up getting some girl pregnant. <laughs> They're no longer together. He's a dumbass. Uh, I, we I, we almost got raped at the end of the night. We went to IHOP, and there was some a very shady character there that almost took advantage of us. But anyways, the point is, the night ends, right? We all get home safely. Everybody's good. Boom. No problem. So, I'm dude, I'm, I'm gone. So, I knock out as soon as I get home. I wake up the next day. And, dude, my phone is blown up. I got, I don't know how many missed calls. I got text messages like crazy. All my friends are asking, you know, I got my all my friends and people that I barely talk to are like, dude, are you okay? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I heard you are at the Grove. Are you all right? Boom, boom, boom. Like, everybody was, like, checking on me. And I'm like, dude, what's going on? So as I'm, like, getting ready to respond to messages and stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, what's up, or whatever. One of my friends, call, my best, my bestest friend calls me. My boy Greg calls me. So he's like, I answer the phone, I'm like, yo. He's like, so how does it feel to, uh, to have escaped death? And I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, dude, how does it feel to, to shake hands with a murderer? I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? So he's like, dude, you remember yesterday... How you went to, you know, you went to go to the bar to get drinks or whatever, and you came back outside, and homeboy was getting slammed on the ground, and I'm like, yeah, I, I barely recall that. He's like, dude, that same guy murdered, like, he stabbed and killed, like, three people, and critically injured, and had, like, had them, like, in, in the ER, like, in critical condition, like, like, two or three other folks, um... And it turns out it was the same dude that came up to me asking me to buy him a drink. That same exact person legit had blood on his shirt because he went around stabbing people that night. And I shook his hand. And I said yes to getting him a drink. So I'm soaking all, all this in. I'm like, damn. 
that's crazy <laughs> and i just start laughing because that's my, that's just my natural reaction to things like if i'm scared or anything like that like my natural reaction is to just laugh it off because that's just who i am and the the moral of the story is just be nice to everybody you never know who you're gonna meet it could be a murderer if i had told that dude no god knows what he could have done to me bro he probably could have he probably could have stabbed my my bitch ass but because i'm uncle jesse and i'm fucking an awesome human being i was like yeah dog i got you with that drink don't even worry about it so the moral of the story is don't be a dick just be nice to everybody and you won't get stabbed but you know every time i tell that story or their story gets told to me i get i get like goosebumps dog because that shit is crazy dude like legit that guy could have stabbed me if i had told him no to getting him that drink it's that's crazy bro that's crazy anyways let's continue here we got an alan crab autograph to 25 for the nets so the next time you you, you decide to uh you know, be a dick to somebody. Think about this story I just told you. You never know who's out there, man. You really never know. You never know, bro. That's why I, I like to treat everybody equally. I treat everybody nice. I treat people the way I want to be treated. And I know I know I want to be treated like a princess. So Malik Monk to 99 for the Hornets. And that's the end of that story. It only took me like half an hour. Got another auto coming up. Nice for the Pacers, Aaron Holiday. The rookie autograph. That's uh, J. Rue Holiday's uh, brother, I believe. It's a pretty good story, Big Greg. It's a pretty big story. It's a good story, I should say. I just wish I would remember most of it. Like, I remember going to the bar, and I remember getting homeboy drinks and, like, you know, shaking his hand and, like, shooting the shit and all that. And I remember him getting body slammed. But, like, I like I, I, I barely remember, like, what he looked like or, like, you know, his shirt being full of blood. Like, I barely remember any of that. Ben Simmons, 199 Sixers. Yeah, Marcus, dude, moral of the story, man. Just be nice to your fellow man, dude. You never know. You never know who that person is or what they've been through or what they're willing to do. good thing I'm a happy drunk if I was sober I probably would have told I probably would have told home to go fuck himself dream on green to 999 for the Warriors but luckily I was toe up from the flow up <laughs> so I was like yeah sure bro I'll buy you a drink come on yeah, let's let's drink together and homeboys going around stabbing people what the hell like these courtside and search cool cards dude I yo it's funny because like every Halloween or I should say every November 1st like the day after Halloween you know how Facebook sends you or for those of you guys that are active on Facebook you know how like you get Facebook will remind you oh like today five years ago you said this so every year I get a reminder 
from uh, one of my friends that tagged me on the on the newspaper article with with the whole story and whatnot, and I was like, oh, sh like every year I'm reminded of it. Uh, you know, this time of year, whatever. Uh, Clay Thompson, 2018 Warriors. Ain't that something, Mr. Nasty Time? You know, at least he was, you know, he he was blessed, you know, to shake my hand. John Wall, 2018 Wizards. But yeah, that we, in Florida, we got that death penalty, dog. <laughs> in Florida, we got that death penalty. We don't play that down here. Oh, you want to kill people? All right. I guess you want to die. We don't play that down here in Florida. All right. Freaking nature, how you been, dog? How's everything with you, bro? Haven't asked you how your day go your day's going. These picture perfect cards are pretty sweet too. All right, we need some big time autos here, man. Still got four boxes to go through. So does does anybody have a Halloween story that they would like to share with uh, with the rest of the class? I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need that. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, my, I just might go out on Saturday then. What's today? Well, today's the twenty fifth. Thursday. It's so officially Thursday. Uh, Friday would be the twenty sixth. Saturday the twenty seventh. I'm probably going to a bar or something. Most of my friends are going to California, though. I got a couple of my homies that are staying behind. So we'll probably go to a bar or something. What? My man, Mr. Nasty Time, once got some strange in a haunted house. Nice. How'd you, how'd you manage that? Just being Mr. Nasty Time, huh? Big Greg, why, why, why is that?
Ah! Now that makes all the sense in the world, Big Greg. I was trying, I was like, well, if there's any time where it's, where, where I guess it could be cool, it'd be then. But yeah, 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 yeah that, that is, yeah. Ooh, not not Kobe Bryant, but it is Alonzo Ball, baby. Second year auto for the Lakers. There you go, Marcus. A little, a little sum sum. Not quite Kobe, but it's still pretty sweet. What are you doing for uh, for Halloween, Mr. Nasty Time? Wow, wow. Chicka, chicka, wow, wow. Wow, like that, Big Greg? Damn. You know it's hard out here for a pimp. Gerald Green, 99 Rockets. Twenty eighteen Giannis Bucks. Bing, bing, bidi, bing, bing. For the Grizzlies, rookie signature for Javon Carter. Noise, noise, noise. Where are we at with uh, hoops number three? Let's get that thing filled so I can just keep on ripping, baby. Excuse me. Ooh, I think I might just go as Joe Dirt this year. Hell yeah. Tony Parker, 199 Hornets. DeMar DeRozan, 2018 Raptors. My man Marcello, dude, thank you. Want to just keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. Durant Warriors 2018. I also want to fill that Phoenix before Prism comes out on Friday. That way we can uh, all focus on Prism. Even though I already have it listed in the store, I do want to fill that Phoenix before Friday. So if we can't get that done tonight, that is definitely my goal uh, for uh, later today. And technically, it's already Thursday. What the heck? Check the store, see where that's at. Uh, Hoops is at 12 left.
That archives is at 14 as well. I'd like to get that ripped up. I would just like to say that I have not had to run a single filler today. And I would like to keep that ball rolling. I didn't have to do a filler for hoops number one or number two or archives number one. I would like to keep that ball rolling. Let's get another break field without have without me having a uh, run a filler for it. Check one thing because I'm not sure if he did that or not. Now Steph Curry put up 51 points tonight. In the last seven days. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Alright. Hit a couple Jason Kidd autos so far today. I want to hit that Luca, man. the Timberwolves Felipe Lopez the autograph for the Timberwolves Stephen Curry 199 Warriors Wow Steph Curry already has 2,000 2,162 the dude's on pace to score. Wow. Steph Curry's already the fifth. He's in fifth place for most three-pointers made. And, like, everybody on the list has, like, it took him twice the amount of games to get to where they're at compared to where Steph Curry's at. If that makes any sense to you. It makes sense in my head. Still got two boxes to go. This thing's not loading up. Well, well.
Ay caramba. Bobby Bojan Bogdanovic, 2018 Pacers. That's a pretty scary noise. Twenty-eighteen Cavs. That is, uh, they're called Metro Rails, which is basically kind of like trains, I guess, if you will. Clay Thompson, ninety-nine Warriors. I feel like there's a, like a big echo in here right now. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I think it's just me. Meritage of the Pelicans 2018. He's been balling this year. The under Jordan Mavericks purple. Come on, I need a big time auto here. Tyus Jones, 189 Timberwolves. So no one here has seen Halloween yet? Looks like it might be a good movie. Rookie autograph for the Hornets, Devontae Graham. To 25. That Bloodlust movie looks really good, too. That Overlord movie. That comes out November 9th. When, when is November? Is that next week? Nah, that's two weeks from now. Damn, two weeks from now I'm going to be in Georgia! I don't think anybody's ever been that excited to go to Georgia, but I am. I get to see family, man. And it's super cold in Georgia. At least compared to what I'm dealing with here in Miami. Let's see. Currently in Miami, it is 75 degrees. And I'm going to be in Dallas, Georgia. What, what, where, where, what, what's the weather looking like there? We're supposed to be getting a, a cold front in Miami for the weekend. It's supposed to be like in the, the low 70s, 60s, which for us is cold. Dang, in Dallas, Georgia, it is 50 degrees. That is cold. It's a nice 49 degrees. Oh, hell no. Dude, I would be in full-on winter mode. Scarf the whole shebang. Let me make sure that he did it. Nope, he did not. All right, cool. Shorts and a t-shirt for you, Big Greg? Oh, hell no. You must be a grizzly bear or something. Got that uh, natural insulation. Dude, it gets below 70 degrees here in Miami, and... Dude, I'm I'm in I'm in three layers of clothing. I got shorts and a t-shirt on too. 
But I have another t-shirt over that t-shirt. I got sweatpants over those shorts. I'm rocking freaking knickerbockers. Knee-high socks. I'm wearing high-top, you know, high-top shoes with the hoodie on. And a beanie. If I had a scarf, I'd be rocking the scarf too. It snowed five inches last week. Where are you at, uh, Cello? By the way, uh, Marcus, are you still here? Marcus, I need you to remind me about the Cheetos. Uh, I'm going to do that for Jason tomorrow. So when he walks in on Friday, they're sitting on the desk. Your boss yells at you for not wearing a coat all winter? I mean, yeah, Big Greg, you, dude, you got to, you know, listen to that wisdom. Listen to that wisdom. My man is in Montana. Marcello, what is there to do in Montana? Like, what do you like to do for fun out there? Oh, very funny, Marcus. Very funny. Omari Spellman, the Hawks rookie autograph. That would have been way sweet if it were Trey. That's not what I meant, Marcus. I, I was hoping more so tomorrow. We need, we need to have another uh, lunch. Uh, I would like to do that. Every, I want to I I wanna talk to Jason, and we need to have like a weekly business meeting, luncheon, so we can write it off on our taxes. <laughs> that, and I, dude, I love talking to Jason, not for nothing, bro. Jason is... One of the most awesome human beings I've ever met. Darren Collison, 189 Pacers. That dude has helped me out so much. You guys have no idea, man. And he sent me the funniest picture of uh, of Penny today. I, I want to put it on a t-shirt. He's like, he wants to make it into a meme. <laughs> Jason Tatum to 999 Celtics. I'll show you the picture here in a second. Outdoor sports activities, mostly do the family thing. Grew up, moved back five years ago, ready to leave again, though. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going, you know. Whatever you guys do. Uh, but anyway, let me show you guys this picture real quick. That Jason sent me of this beautiful little baby girl. Look at this shit. That is the greatest thing I have ever seen. Just flipping the bird. <laughs> that is indeed Jason's daughter right there, man. That is hilarious. I want to put this on a t-shirt. I want to put that on a t-shirt. That is so awesome. If, if Penny is anything like her father, she is going to be a handful when she grows up. I can already see, you know, the cardboard Jesus, you know, when, when the first boy tries to pick her up, go answer the door with a shotgun. Like, excuse me, who are you? You're here to pick up who? Penny? Who? Are you sure you're here to pick her up? Ricky Rubio Jazz. That that would definitely be me. Like if I ever have kids and I have a daughter, oh Lord. She ain't gonna be able to date until she's like 35.
Now you're talking my language, cello. <sighs> my cello's gonna be that dad. You have two girls. One's four and a half, and the other one's one. Oh man. Well, way to rub it in my face, Big Greg. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuse me. <coughs> they're whatever they're okay I like them because I can take them out in public but that's about it Reggie Bullock 99 Pistons to me I, I don't get the same effect you know what I mean Got Donovan Mitchell, 2018 Jazz. My boy trying to fill this hoops number three for show, for show. We got a random this. Dude, that's what I did on my on a road trip. I think what was it like last a couple weeks ago? Uh, when I was up to Orlando, dude, I rolled up like, I okay, I rolled up a bunch of blunts, <laughs> and I smoked like two on the way there, bro, that was the chillest drive ever, ever, we got Isaiah Ryder, autograph for the Timberwolves, former dunk champion right there, slam dunk champion, I honestly can't wait until they legalize that thing nationwide and people stop going to jail for that shit. It's going to make so many things better. Because, all, listen, all, all we want to do, we want to smoke. And then, I don't know about y'all, but some people like to smoke and chill. I like to smoke and do stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I like I like to smoke and do stuff. So, like, I like to smoke and, like, maybe go catch a movie or, you know, go play basketball or, you know, matter of fact, I actually, I like working out uh, and smoking. This is true, Cello. You know, when's the last time you saw somebody... You know, high starting bullshit. Never. If anything, they they're just super chill. And they just they just want Taco Bell. So like for me, dude, I love bro. I love like I'm one of those. Well, I wouldn't say like I can't do anything without smoking, but I enjoy like smoking and then doing stuff. So like if we're gonna go to the beach, shit. Let me roll up a blunt. We're going to the beach, dog. I'm in Miami. What? Yo, let me tell you something, man. Smoking in, in South Beach is one of the coolest things ever. And yeah, James, that's another thing too, bro. Like, instead of like taking pills and all this bullshit, I just smoke a J, smoke a blunt, smoke a bowl, hit the pen, whatever. And, like, dude, it, it, de it definitely helps me go to sleep, James, because I, I have a sleep apnea. I, I haven't been medically diagnosed with it, but I know I have it. And I, I've always had problems going to sleep, man. But, yo, I smoke one before going to bed, man, and I just, I knock out like that, bro. Depending on the, if, if it's an indica or a sativa, you know, I might be up for a little bit watching a movie or something. But please believe, I'm going to get some good sleep that night.
Well, James, once you retire, you can have back, uh, hop back up on it. But what I'm, I'm starting to notice, like a, a, a minor, re, you know, a little mini revolution, if you will, around the country. You know, a lot of more people are are starting to become aware of all the positives that the greens provide. Because before I used to be like, you smoke weed? Oh, you're a fucking loser. You, you're fucking... Nah, now it's like some of the most successful people are fucking potheads, man. Yeah, James, I hear you. I mean, I would say you could kind of join her. Like, you could, you know, sip on, you know, have a little drink or something if you're into that. But it's not the same. It's not the same. I would rather be stoned than, than drunk 10 times out of 10. Or, okay, 9 times out of 10. And the only reason I say 9 times out of 10 is because it really depends. Like, if I'm in a party situation, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm drinking. But if I'm chilling or doing anything else, oh, I'm smoking. Shit, you know what? I'm smoking at the party, too. I'm smoking and I'm drinking. <laughs> yeah, most people, you know, nowadays, like, it's, like, everybody's, like, so open to it. Like, it's just, it's, it's starting to become a normal thing. Uh, and I just, I, I can't wait to the day where it's like, all right, I don't have to worry about that crown Victoria behind me because I'm, because I'm smoking. He, he, he's smoking too. <laughs> all right. Let me, uh, do this one thing for my homie here who wants to buy some teams and uh, hoops number three. I'm on the last box as you can see. So let me see what I can do for my boy. Oh, James, exactly. There you go. And, and and it helps the marriage, you know. All she can, you know, all she has to do is smoke a J, and then just ignore all the dumb shit that you may have to say. Because, fellas, we all know that anything we do can and will be used against us in the woman court of law. So the Mary Jane is a great equalizer. Like when I smoke, I'm I'm very talkative when I when I smoke. What's the dumbest thing you guys have ever done while you guys were stoned? Donovan Mitchell, the Jets in 2018. I want the very first night, actually, that I ever. This is another funny story. The very first time I ever smoked weed was uh was when I was in college. And uh, it was this house party. And everybody knew that, like, I was, like, you know, a virgin to it. Like, I never smoked. But I drank, but I never smoked. So, like, anytime we ever had a party, you know, at, at my boy's house or whatever in college, I would always be drunk, but, like, I would never participate in the smoking. So this night they decided, hey, Uncle Jay, you know, dude, it was, like, just like a, bro, I'll never forget. I'll never forget. I walk into the party, dog, and I felt like I was like McLovin or something in, in Super Bad. Like it was like a scene out of Super Bad, dude. It was awesome. So, you know, I walk in the door, you know, I'm like saying what's up. And then like before I could like even take two steps inside, everybody's like, yo, Uncle Jesse's here. Dude, I've had the nickname Uncle Jesse's for like ever, uh, ever since Full House. So ever since elementary. But anyway, 
Oh, Uncle Jesse's here, yo. What's up, yo? Jay, come over here, bro. And then, like, it, it was, dude, it was just like Smokey said to Craig, I know you ain't, I know you don't smoke weed. I know this, but we gonna get you high today. Dog, it was crazy. So they locked me in a room with all these other degenerates, and dog, I'm smoking blunts, I'm smoking J's. They put a gas mask on me. I'm smoking out of that. I'm smoking out of a bong. I don't know how long I was in that room, bro, but I was gone. I was so gone. So, so gone. Dude, I was blasted. It, I, bro, I was so stoned that, mind you, the police came to shut down. Yeah, I, I, exactly. I hit a volcano, too, uh, which is the bag or whatever. I hit that shit, too. Uh, so anyway, dude, I hit a gravity, dude, bro, it was nuts, crazy night, so the party was so bumping that the police came by to shut it down, they, dude, they, they pretty much knocked down the door, couple, couple people got arrested because they were, you know, just stupid, blah, 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 and then, uh, you know, I, dude, I'm seeing it come, I'm seeing it happen in slow motion, I just see the police coming in, and I just pretend to fall asleep, <laughs> I just pretend to fall asleep because who's gonna mess who's gonna, who's gonna mess with some dude that's sleeping, right? Like you gotta be a big jerk to do that. So I just I, I, I fell asleep. I pretended to fall asleep, and then sure enough, I actually fell asleep. <laughs> so I wake up. By the time I wake up, it was like an hour or two later or something, and people are you know still hanging out or whatever. And uh, the police had been gone. You know, a couple people got arrested, whatever, whatever. So dude, at this point, I am freaking. I'm still stoned. And I'm hungry as shit. And I have no idea why, why I'm so hungry. Munchies, baby. First time ever. So I'm like, bro, I'm fucking hungry. It's like three, it's like three or four in the morning. So nothing's open. Walmart is hella far from my apartment. So it's not like I could just drive and go there. It's, it's like a half an hour drive. I was about to do that. Cause I, I was in Orlando too, and like Orlando, not for nothing. Is nothing like Miami. Everything is closed at like two in the morning. Tops, even McDonald's, like they, no twenty-four hour McDonald's or nothing like that. So I'm hungry as shit. And my boys, they don't cook. They don't do none of that. But they did have these hot dogs, and they had the hot dogs in the freezer. And my high ass thought, hey, it'd be a good idea to go in the freezer and just eat straight raw hot dog, not cooked, not nothing. I was like, goddamn. And then, like, I, they told me about it the day after. I'm like, nah, no, I didn't. And sure enough, somebody recorded me <laughs> eating frozen-ass hot dogs. They're like, yo, put it in the microwave, put it in the microwave. I'm like, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> ah oh, shit. Dennis Schroeder, 199 Thunder. That shit still makes me laugh, dude. That, that shit was so fucking fucking hilarious man great night big greg says in uh in junior high got high made a big ass bowl of cereal put the cereal in the fridge and the milk in the cupboard whoa <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> uh cello says went to snoop dog two years ago i was swimming a concert never been never seen so much smoke light came on and it looked like the place caught fire hell yeah that's funny Cause uh, I I actually I went to uh, I went to a Wiz Khalifa concert like I, this was like eight nine years ago or something like fresh out of high school or actually it was when I it's when I came back from college my bad so I was like 20 21 years old or something like that and uh, yeah uh, I don't know if you guys know about Wiz Khalifa but I, Wiz Khalifa would be like this just this generation Snoop Dogg if you will. Like a newer version of Snoop Dogg's. Super stoner. So we go to, dude, first of all, we, the, you know, I had the house empty. My mom had, like, gone to Columbia or something for, like, a week. So I had the house to myself. So, you know, I, ha I had a, I had my, you know, had a party. So, because, you know, what are you going to do, right? So, you know, I had my friends sleep over. You know, I, ha I got girls over, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're having a good time. So... We're like getting ready to go to this Wiz Khalifa concert. Troy Brown Jr. 189 Wizards there. 
So, dude, we had like out of we. I want to say we had like two or three pounds of that uh, of that good shit. And we decided, all right, we're gonna roll up a bunch. And we did. I don't. I, I can't tell you how many blunts we rolled up, bro. Middleton Bucks 2018, and we did. We do. We made pop brownies, right? First time ever trying to make pop brownies, and we epically failed. We put like too much bud into it, right? So it wasn't cooking right. We tried adding like more water into it so that it wouldn't, you know, be as powdery. Then it was then it was too watery, so we had tried to put more powder. Point is, we completely failed at making these brownies. But when you ate them, it got you super stoned, right? So we're like, you know what? Let's make milkshakes. We made like brownie, like stoner brownie milkshakes, and oh my god, one delicious and two. That was such a powerful high, dude. Because, mind you, we were smoking and we had done the edibles. So we get to the Wiz Khalifa concert and same thing, bro. Like, they patted us down a little bit, you know, to let us in. But, bro, there were people out there with, like, blunts in hand, joints, bongs, the whole thing. So, like, security was not giving a single fuck. Letting everybody in with all the drugs and all the shit. Dude, I walk in, again, like a scene out of a movie. It was it was it was like it was like a nice little venue, you know. Probably probably set like you know two thousand people or so, full of smoke, full of smoke, like you you flash a light and you could see like the light particles because of because of all the smoke. It was awesome, dude. There was that we were passing. One of my boys actually passed a blunt to Wiz Khalifa. Cause we were like we were right in front of the stage, so you could, like you could literally reach out and he could like reach out and touch you or whatever. My boy passed him a blunt that was cool as hell. Wiz Khalifa was throwing like joints into the stands and we were just random people were passing me blunts. Dude, it was just yeah, it was just like a Snoop concert I can imagine. Like everybody was just smoking. Every like even if he wasn't smoking, you was smoking because everybody around you was smoking. So, yeah, dude, complete strangers passing me blunts. It, dude, it was awesome. Great experience. Great experience. Spencer Dinwiddie, Nets autograph. That's what I, you know, that's what I love about, you know, freaking uh, marijuana. Honestly, it brings people together, man. Not for nothing. I can't, I can't sit here and tell you. I, I don't have a single story that's negative, really. And if it and if it is, it's involving coppers for obvious reasons. Uh, Kata beats Diop to ninety nine. Uh, Timberwolves. Like every person that I've ever met, you know, smoking bud or whatever, man, just good, good times. Good times were had. Nice. For the Bucks, Dante DiVincenzo. The Bucks rookie autograph. He could be a good one. Oh, dude, I would love to see George Clinton in Parliament. That what? That one would be a funky-ass concert. And two... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure a Willie Nelson concert is probably the same. All right, this is the uh, last little stack here. Paul George, 2018 Thunder. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's going to do it for the break. All right. So, let me do one thing real quick here
Uno minuto before I do this recap here. Nice. I love when things just work out. All right. That is six. Got him. There are five teams left in hoops number three. Let me see what we got. Oh, I love when things work out for sure, for sure. All right, we got five teams left in... Uh, Hoops number three, you guys. We got five teams left in hoops number three. We got Bulls, Jazz, Pacers, Raptors, Blazers. Get your teams and let's get that filled. All right, so before I run the uh, recap here. All right, so I only got... Okay, so these I can just give one each. This one, Sixers. Since I got one of each, I just give one to each. Uh, this one will be Grizz. This will be Spurs. And the one I got at random is this bad boy. Marcus, you've been mighty quiet, dog. I mean, I know you're probably mad at me right now, but I know you got some stories. All right, so we got to random this bad boy. I got a team on the left and a team on the right. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the die. If I get an odd number, left side team. If I get an even number, right side team. Odd left, even right, odd left, even right. Here we go. Even. So the right side team wins the Pistons. All right, let us start our recap. So, low number parallels, we have Royce O'Neal, 5 of 10 for the Jazz, and Victor Oladipo, 6 of 10 for the Pacers. Nice looking cards, seriously. Autographs, here go the hits. We have Spencer Dinwiddie of the Nets. So, Nets with a hit, they are in the green. Not yellow. Green. Isaiah Ryder of the Timberwolves. They got a hit. Omari Spellman of the Hawks. They got a hit. Devontae Graham of the Hornets. Numbered to 25. That's a hit right there. Felipe Lopez, Timberwolves. Javon Carter of the Grizzlies with a hit. Aaron Holiday, Pacers with a hit. We got Alan Crabb to 25 for the Nets. Where are the Nets at? Oh, they already took him off, that's why. Jacob Evans, the third of the Warriors. Ernie DiGregorio. Now, that says Buffalo Braves. 
that one we're going to need our uh, checklist. Although I believe the Buffalo Braves are the Clippers, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, let's look up the checklist. Although I'm like 95% sure that this is going to go to the Clippers. Pull up the checklist. Yep, Ernie De Gregorio is indeed a Clipper. Uh, and if you need confirmation, I got you. Uncle Jesse, don't tell no fibs. Boom. Here's the checklist. Ernie De Gregorio goes to the Clippers. All right. So that there is no doubts about that and we always go off the group break checklists here's the checklist for hoops basketball 1819 all right so i don't want people telling me uncle jesse how do you know because i know dog clippers with a hit all right first of all let me top load this and i'm going to put it on the card so that they're can be no doubt. I don't want my sorters asking me, hey, who does this go to? And, you know, the less time they have to look up a card is better. That way they can spend more time sorting quicker. And whatnot. We run a we run a very tight ship around here. Not really, but working on it. Alright, we got Ish Smith. Of the pistons there in the green Moritz Wagner of the Lakers they got a hit Karis Levert of the Nets Dante DiVincenzo that's actually a pretty good hit did he win the national championship last year with I think maybe I don't know. Anyways, Bucks I'm getting a hit right there. A Zanon Musa to twenty-five for the Nets. They're gone too. AC Green of the Lakers took the Lakers off the screen. Yep. Uh, Josh Okoge of the Timberwolves. He just had a nasty putback dunk tonight. I'm sure people are going to be looking him up. Jonas Jerebko of the Warriors autograph. Another Dante DiVincenzo for the Bucks. So that's not one but two. A hot signature rookie and the rookie ink. That's pretty sweet. That's what I'm talking about, Marcus. And last but not least, a Lonzo Ball for the Lakers. The second year auto. Now, we're uh, not done. Because we need to find out now who's going to win $100 from the hit list spots. So let's roll the die. Every hoops break we fill, giving away $100 to one of the hit list spots. That's the whole purpose of uh, the green stuff there. All right, so I'm going to grab all the names of the people that did not get a hit. I'm going to put them all in a list randomizer. And one of the hitless spots will win a hundred dollars. And break credit, of course. Sort that out. Boom. Copy. Take that down. And let's put up the randomizer. There we are. We're going six times in the random. Here are the names of the hit list, folks. One of these are uh, going to win 100 bucks. Going six times, top name wins. Good luck. And the money shot six. Boom, six times. Shout outs to the Kanko main. My man Corey winning 100 bucks. There you go, my dude. And that was the break. Thank you very much. We'll get that right out to you.